Oh, he got down. Wow. Hey. 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 Shaker. What are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> So let us hear how the Benelli Leoncino 250 sounds. What's up YouTube this is Vijayan Sura back with another video and this year we have the most affordable Benelli you can buy which is Leoncino 250. That is correct there's a lot, lot to talk about this motorcycle but starting with its name the Leoncino translates to a line cup which is a single cylinder four stroke liquid cool engine uh, 250cc and uh, it puts out 25.8 uh, PS of power at 9250 rpm and a torque of around 21 Newton meters at uh, 8000 rpm with a 6 speed transmission and a fuel injection. The Leoncino 250 also features a trellis frame and the beautiful splash guard on the back because it has got the chop tail. The tail light and the indicators are very bright as you can see. The pillion seat is very small but it gives that scrambler look uh, the fuel cap which gives it a premium look and small minute details where all the Leoncino logos and uh, designs are beautifully articulated. Leoncino also features the upside down fork with the 280mm disc in the front ABS version and you can see the logo on the panels and it just makes it look much more premium. The Benelli logo just looks beautiful on this. The color scheme and the seat, it just gives you that chop tail scrambler look. The front has a, like it's a 280mm disc and the ground clearance is, is really good. The back features a 240mm of disc, ABS version again, and the double barrel. What's up YouTube? This is Vijayan Sura back with another video and today we have Lions Cup with us which is Leon Chino 250 by Benelli and who would be the best person to actually explain how the ride feels? Probably only a guy who owns a Benelli, right? So let me call upon my friend Ro, come here. He's Rohit. So what's up brother? All, all good. good. All good. So he owns a Benelli 502 TRK. He's the same guy in my video where somebody crashed into him and so 500 is sorted now he rode as you can see with the chuckles he rode the Benelli 250 I mean tell you you mess up my videos all the time sorry but yeah so let me ask him how he feels uh, about riding the Leon 250 so brother tell me how you feel okay. what do you feel is different in this bike how you feel is different okay so uh, first thing First is first, so Leo Chino comes in two variants. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the 500cc and the 250cc. Yeah. Uh, this machine is the 250cc. The highlights about the bike is your uh, laser cut line on the front, okay. your uh, standard mirrors. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much 250 and the 500 come with a similar set of mirrors. Okay. Similar set of mirrors. Set of mirrors. Yes. Uh, the seating obviously is got the scramble look. Uh, probably not, not that very comfortable for uh, a pillion, but mm -hmm. then yes, you can do uh, your short city rides. You can run around a bit on the city and uh, it is pretty good in that terms. So right. my experience... 500? How, what about the 500? Is the seat pretty much the same. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Uh, again, anterior fuel is all that you can use on these bikes. Okay. So you cannot go for your normal HP Bharat petrol and wala. Uh, not to say that these yeah. <laughs> petrols are bad. I don't mean to say that <laughs> petrols yes. are bad by any chance. But yeah, preferably uh, the first 2000-2000 kilometers go for what is recommended by uh, the manufacturer because they have tested it in those conditions. Okay. Okay. So coming to the wheels, you have uh, 17 inch front and back, and uh, right. you have tubeless tires that come with the bike itself. Uh, this bike is uh, yet to be registered. It's a very new bike. Hmm. Uh, it's hardly done about 700 km. Yeah. And uh, I took it, uh, taken it out on the street. Uh, 
I did about seven eight kilometers now just to come down to Highlander, mm. and uh, the bike is very comfy. Okay. So in the city you can do uh, easily uh, 80 90 in 4,000 5,000 RPM, which is pretty good. So okay. uh, prior to uh, getting this year, I came with a Domina. Yeah. So my Domina pretty much does the same. Okay. So uh, so are you are you saying that it is as good as your Domina uh, in terms of happiness? Not in terms of power, but in terms of happiness because yes. this is of course lightweight. Yes. Yeah, right. that way, yeah, yeah. Because so the weight definitely adds. Uh, it makes a lot of difference. My dominant is completely modified. It's yeah, yeah, almost two ten dry yeah. if you put all yeah. the load and everything. So that is it. But yeah, this, this is definitely a perfect bike. And okay. I, I would recommend that you also take it up for a spin. Oh yeah, definitely. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for a spin to understand how I feel. But uh, from the horse's mouth directly, uh, if I have to ask you, what's your verdict on this? I mean, who should buy this? I think uh, uh, considering the price point, uh, the, the uh, way it is being marketed and what the bike gives you, I think this is a bike for everyone. Uh, if, if you are into bigger bikes, if you are into super bikes, if you are into normal bikes, you are just upgrading, you want to feel that power, you want to understand what a bike actually feels like, I think this bike is, is, is across all and Especially the way it looks like, because we don't have too many scramblers as of now in the market. Right. So looking at this scrambler guys, this is almost like 2.5 uh, lakhs. Uh, so if somebody is into scrambler, I think this looks beautiful. So you can check out the video where you can see the pan shots of how it looks like. It's definitely an eye catching bike when Rohit was riding with his chappal especially. Everyone was abusing about the chappal. But yes, I think you can, you do have other options like KTM and uh, you know, you have your CBR uh, 300 by Honda. So in the same almost even lesser price than this but yes when you talk about Binali uh, made in Italy of course quality makes a lot of difference it's a single cylinder so I think yeah I I'm, will find out how it feels once I start riding this one so thank you very much Rohit I appreciate your feedback have a nice day ahead and ride safe and our friend who just bought a lot of gear from Highlander thanks to Manju who's holding the camera right now so appreciate your efforts make sure guys everybody needs to understand your body is very expensive, things can go wrong, so always buy gear, that is why we brought Shaker here and we said we don't care, you are going to spend money and you are going to buy the gear, so we are happy now, he can ride with us now, or else he, he can ride. So here we have, what's up Shaker, yeah, he is the owner of the Leon Chino, the Lion Cub, yes the Lion Cub my friend, yeah. so I think you, I mean what are you thinking in terms of service? Uh, I feel. Uh... Mysore service people are like more genuine in terms of costing or the service related queries. When okay, so you did your homework, I guess, something. Uh, yeah, okay. I did a lot of homework before buying this bike. Uh, this bike, I got it from Mysore. Okay. There's only one Benelli showroom in Mysore on the Hunsu Road. They are, that is the only place. And uh, yeah, Why why, why you uh, wanted I've, this? I've, I mean, I visited a few multiple or a few uh, Benelli showrooms. I okay. Felt the way they promote or they give information on the bike, hmm. mostly Mysore stands first. I'm not talking because it's been owned by my friend, but yeah, I felt the quality over there. So basically, you saw some difference when you yes, visited the Benelli showroom in did, Bangalore and in Mysore. To, or, uh, I've been to the uh, service center as well, which is right next to the showroom. Okay. okay. You can say, and I felt it is more uh, uh, transparent when you go check out your bike being serviced. And they give you clarity on what is being done. Okay. And uh, to be honest, I've not been to any uh, service center in Bangalore, but I felt more comfortable in Mysore. Okay. So one more thing I got to ask you. I mean, see, like you're stating about uh, you are happy with the Mysore service center and that's where you bought it from. Yeah. But what about the people who are actually uh, who bought in Bangalore and who are in Bangalore? So what's... How, how would they I go about getting it serviced? For them to go visit Mysore service center once. Okay. See the difference after their first service being done in Bangalore mm. and then go back to Mysore for the second service, feel the difference, probably they should give you an answer. Okay. Yeah, and I think, you know, service is something which doesn't happen, so it's good that you go on a ride as well and yes, you get your bike service. Yes, Mysore and is a beautiful city and you get a beautiful track from Bangalore to probably you, once you cross Bangalore yeah. till you reach Mysore, the roads are good now and you can feel your ride over there. Of course, like uh, like you said, uh, you can actually have a peaceful ride over there. Yeah, yeah. Finish your service in one or two hours, or maximum up to what five hours, then come back to Bangalore. So what about? Uh, I think you were also stating that they can also come to Bangalore and service. Yes, my so friend can you has tell? Offered me saying, if at all I can gather a lot of people, 
who can hmm. actually or we are willing to get the serviceman back to Bangalore and get it serviced at home, I think uh, you should contact the Mysore Service Center. Okay, so do you have the name or should yes, I just put the... His name is Nithin Purushottam. He, uh, he owns the Benali showroom in uh, Mysore. Okay, but what we can do is we can actually put his number in the description. So anybody with the Benelli yes, who is not happy, we can definitely go yeah, ahead and put it in the description. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, that's that's a very good point because guys, uh, please understand that service is the most important aspect which, which kind of makes the deal and breaks the deal. So in this case, uh, like uh, Shekhar has said, he somehow definitely he did the homework and uh, he feels much more comfortable with the Mysore showroom. So I don't own a Benelli, but of course, yes, if you guys want to give it a try, yes, either go for a, a ride or just contact the number given in the description and maybe they can just help out in Bangalore. So thanks a lot. And as you can see, people are tired. They want to go home. They want to eat food. It's already afternoon. So everybody, bye bye. Take care. So here we go, enjoying the uh, 250 Leoncino. A uh, couple of immediate things which I felt. Uh, first, you just feel you are sitting very high because the seat height is actually higher. And uh, the suspension, yes, like I was saying, the suspension is are very stiff. So I can feel every small unevenness of the road the small bumps, potholes. Now I like the name, as you can see, Leoncino mentioned here, the small, small details, which makes it look different. In terms of power, yeah, it, it sounds grunty and it sounds good. I just feel I'm sitting higher. Uh, yeah, just a bit of a difference here. Being a single cylinder, yes, uh, there are a bit of vibrations coming towards the handlebar. But apart from that, that's it, it, it sounds good and it rides good. Since this is a new motorcycle, I'm not ripping it. But yeah, maybe I'll just give one burst of uh, speed. Now the suspension was good. I think it's just that it's too stiff in the front. As you can see, my handlebar, every change is my handlebar is, is actually giving the feedback to my hands. I just feel it's it's vibrating, but at the end of the day, it's okay. Uh, the turning radius, okay. I just felt good when I was turning it. Okay, so I have probably a good rider. Let's see how this baby does. One thing for sure, the sound is awesome. You hear that? As if you have taken a KNN filter. It's definitely an eye catching motorcycle for sure. When it comes to the higher gear uh, torque, now for example, I was on fourth. It's, it's very linear. Sort of too much linear is what I can say. But yes, I'm trying to just see how the bike feels. When you're on higher revs, the engine feels very good. It The power kicks in very good. One thing I can say for uh, if somebody is actually looking for a scrambler, then this is a baby scrambler at uh, on-road price of 3.3 uh, with an X showroom price of 2.5 this is good I just feel it lacks a bit of a power for example the fifth gear see see the power is I mean I don't know why but when I'm somewhere around the lower range of the uh, power band I am not getting that I'm not getting that response which I need but you definitely feel that you are on a higher ground and uh, that actually makes you less confident when you are actually taking very sharp turns because I, I just feel like I am going to tip over 
So we are actually reaching to my friend's place and we'll be dropping his bike. The fun with the Lian Chino, aka the Lion Cub, ends here for me. And thanks to my friend Shekhar who trusted on me <laughs> to give this motorcycle. But yes, I gotta tell you one thing, regardless of the, all the small, small issues, definitely this is a city motorcycle if you love a scrambler. The feeling is just different. Look at these people. Now, now he decides to put the indicator on. Lovely. Definitely eye-catching. One thing I gotta tell you guys, whoever has the knee guards, please be aware because your knee guards are literally going to touch the tank part and scratch off the tank. So whoever using the knee guards, better be careful or else the way we actually convince our friend to buy a riding pant, that's the way to go. Use riding pants. Let's see how... The saddling is good. But yes, your, since the handle is actually lowered, you just feel difficult to saddle. But lovely. Oh, he got down? Okay, cool. Wow! Hey! I told you I'm coming! Second. Third. Okay. Okay. Wait. Now it's 40. Okay. Pull. <laughs> so here's Mr. Rohit <laughs> and the Highlander manager. Not manager. <laughs> He's a manager. You only come to it. And here's a poor guy who's trying to fit into a riding pant. <laughs> Being a Besharam, he's also not okay. Let's try. Okay, now now Rohit is going to help him to wear the riding pant. This is the most embarrassing part where you can see the alignment happening. Now please, don't, do, don't try this at home kids. Don't try this at home. Boss, you can't pull it so high. There are, there are assets which can get hurt. <laughs> hey, that's... that's <laughs> Well, I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to do